Hello, hello guys. Welcome to Quantum Mechanics. In this video, we're tackling operators, specifically commutating and non-commutating operators. You know, this is the condition that there are two operators, right? We are trying to determine whether do these operators commute, right? So we are going to apply, okay, first of all, we're going to apply B to this function. And then after we're going to apply A minus, we're going to apply A to this function. Then after we're going to apply um, the operator B. And if this results to zero, right, we'll say operator A and operator B commute, right? And if they commute, what does that mean? It means that their observables can be determined simultaneously, right? For example, right, momentum, momentum is an observable. It has got an operator, right? Its operator is minus i multiplied by the Planck's constant d over d of x, right? So we have got an observable and an operator, right? So let's say, okay, let's say we've got momentum and, um, I don't know, kinetic energy, kinetic energy. And you'll recall this from um, the Schrodinger um, equation, kinetic energy is minus 8 squared over 2m. And then it's going to be d squared divided by dx squared. Okay. Kinetic energy is an observable. And these are their operators. So let's say um, Kinetic energy and, um, and, and momentum are applied to this function in this manner. If that result equals to zero, we'll be able to say that these two operators, they commute. Now, if these two operators commute, that means that the observables can be determined simultaneously, right? All right, but now what happens, you know, if this condition does not result to zero? This means that the operators do not commute. And their observables can obviously not be determined um, simultaneously, you know. Um, this condition can also be written as um, A, but they mean more or less the same thing, you know. If these two Are equal then the operators um, commute if they are not equal then the operators do not commute and if the operators do not commute their observables cannot be um, determined simultaneously and this is also another form that this can be written you know what I'm saying and then it is being applied let's say to a function right there if this is zero, they commute. If it is not zero, they do not commute. Okay, so let us quickly look at an example um, to see if, let's say, two operators commute or they do not commute. You know, it's an example. Now, can we determine momentum and kinetic energy simultaneously you know what i'm saying can we determine um a momentum and kinetic energy simultaneously you know or another way that this question this question could have been asked is do um momentum operator and the kinetic energy operator do they commute right if they commute this can be um the observables can be determined simultaneously so we go through the same route, right? 
is here or the first um, um, side there. Okay, what we're gonna do, we are gonna, okay, first of all, this, this square bracket, what that is called is called the commutator. Okay, we are gonna determine whether the two operators commute, right? Okay, this is being applied initially to um, d squared divided by dx squared. Okay, this can be applied, let's say, to an arbitrary function. Let's say g of x, right? Um, minus, so now we're going to start here with kinetic energy over 2m just so you guys can see what I'm doing okay dx over dx squared okay and then this is being applied um, to dx then to g of x right I can put square brackets there, you know what I'm saying? Just for neatness sake. Okay, then we continue here. Minus i. Okay, we can multiply these two constants and factor this out. Factoring this out and this minus multiplied by minus is going to be a positive. So it's going to be a positive h cubed now. Divide by 2m. Right, then we're going to have, um, we're going to differentiate here, d squared over dx squared applied to g of x. Okay. Um, okay, here, a, a negative multiplied by a negative is going to be a positive, right? So it's going to be a positive inside this bracket. So also we have got i h. This multiplied by this is h cubed divided by two m. You know, then we've got d squared over d x squared, right? Then d over d x being applied to g of x. You know. All right. Now, do you guys realize that this and this are the same or they are equal, right? Um, so the, the difference between these two things will equal zero, right? Hence, the potential energy operator and the kinetic energy operator and applied to an arbitrary function g of x equals to zero you know so what does that mean it means that it means that momentum and kinetic energy kinetic energy can be determined simultaneously right so basically that is the you know the notion of um of of, of commutators commuting and non-commuting operators so there are operators where um, um 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 they cannot be where its observables cannot be determined simultaneously such that if let's say this a then there's b being applied to g of x if this is the case if they're not equals to zero then they do not commute um in the next video i'm going to do an example where this is the case um stay cool if you've got any questions just feel free to comment below and i'll be glad to assist you guys do stay cool